If y'all haven't seen this video that has been circulating on the internet, this is a teacher who was allowing his female students to take down his hair. Now, he got so much hate and backlash because a lot of people were saying that this is unprofessional and this is very inappropriate. Now, in my opinion, I feel like the new age teachers are so different from the old age teachers. Back when I was a kid, we never really had young teachers. All of our teachers were older teachers and it was always strictly about education. We honestly, I don't really remember times where we were able to just be free and be kids and do, you know, what kids are doing nowadays in classes. Also, we didn't have phones to record. Like our teachers did not take out their phones to go live, to record. I'm starting to notice that there are a lot of teachers who are recording, who are on TikTok, going live, making videos of them being, you know, good teachers. And it's cool and everything. But I don't know if, I don't know. I feel like a lot of these teachers nowadays just want recognition. A lot of them just, they're going for the cloud, you know, they're trying to just up their social media at this point. Because why are you going live in class and showing certain things? Because there has been a lot of teachers who have got fired because they were going live. They were putting their, the kids on the internet. Just a whole bunch of, you know, shenanigans. I feel like whatever you do in class, keep it off the internet. It, it doesn't always need to go live. This man is literally fighting for his life. This man is fighting for his life. He has made multiple videos and a lot of people are saying that they, they are red flags and all these other things. But y'all, I'm going to let y'all check out these videos that he's been uploading on his TikTok page. Okay, so I tried my best to cut out the young girl's face because I don't want their faces all over the internet. Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate. And other people were saying this was completely fine. There was nothing wrong with what I was doing. And people were just making it weird. So, of course, I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school. And I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before. But that Friday, we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video. And I was one of the ones being interviewed. So I had to look presentable, so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself because it would have taken me forever. So naturally, I asked about four or five of my over 100 best friends to assist me in taking my hair out, and they all agreed. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week, we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball, darts, or be on their phones or whatever. And during that time, my team would help me take my hair out. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. I wrote all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period, requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal. I told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior. They all met the criteria, so 10 minutes before dismissal, they showed up for the job. My next point I'd like to make is, if I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't have to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers, and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. Some of these students have been with me since I was a substitute four years ago. They see me as a big brother or a father figure, as some of them say. And me, I don't want kids of my own, so all of these kids are literally my children. And in case you're wondering about their parents, most of them follow me on social media and always talk about my videos with their kids. They always tell me that they're so grateful that their kids have someone like me in their life. In my admin, they're well aware of my social media presence and they love my videos. To me, this is just another wholesome moment that I'm having with my kids that I was fortunate enough to catch on film. Since I'm a science teacher, one thing that I teach my students about is symbiosis. Symbiosis deals with the relationships between organisms. The type of relationship that I like to foster in my class is mutualism, 
or mutualistic relationship, which means both organisms benefit from the exchange. So when my students have good behavior and complete all their assignments and do everything that a scholar is supposed to do, I reward them with downtime and just time to just be a kid, be on their phones, play games, gossip, so on and so forth. My students and I work hard and we play harder. I'm fortunate enough to have students that feel safe and comfortable around me, safe to come to me with their problems, their frustrations. They come to me seeking guidance and wisdom or come to me simply to chill and hang out because they know that they have a safe space to be themselves around me. What I strive to do as an educator is be the teacher I wish I had growing up. I strive to be the teacher that makes my inner child happy, someone that my inner child will be proud of. I want to be the teacher that my students reflect back on 20, 30 years down the line and think like, dang, that teacher I had in middle school, he was the shit. No further questions, Your Honor. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this was inappropriate or people were making something out of nothing? And although you are entitled to your opinion, all I ask is that you be respectful. Thank you. So in this clip, he's talking about how his students reached out to him. Now, a lot of people are kind of confused on how the students were able to reach him. Were they reaching him through text messages? Were they reaching him through email? Now, my kids are able to reach out to their teacher. There are certain websites where the teachers and the children are able to communicate with each other. So I'm not too sure how they were able to reach out to him. I don't know. But y'all, a lot of people are still saying there's, you're, there's no getting out of this. The kids were calling him besties and people found that a little weird. So I'm gonna let y'all read I'm gonna let y'all read some of the comments of what the people were saying. You need to leave. Amidst all the controversy that has come from this video that I posted. Uh, I wanted to come on here and read some of the messages that my students are sending me during some of the messages that they've been sending me. During this time, hey, bestie, I really hope that you see this message. How are you? I hope that you're okay. Our class misses you so much, and we really want you to know that we love you and we miss you so much, and can't wait for you to come back. I can't believe that taking somebody's hair out is such a big deal, and it makes me so mad that people make little things big things. I want you to know that the class and others got your back, and we will always stand behind you and up for you no matter what happens. We got you. Again, we miss we miss you and we love you so much, and can't wait for can't wait for you to come back. I wish that this never happened because it feels like we're losing you. <sighs> come back soon. Don't be gone too long because if you're not back by Monday, I know something's up. But anyways, I also made sure that the classroom was clean before we left. Love you, missed you. Love you, miss you, see you later. Hi, Mr. White. We've been seeing all this stuff going on, and so has your other former students, and I just want you to know that we're standing with you. I, I'm literally in my junior year of high school right now, and seeing this, you, and seeing all this, you were my and many others' favorite teacher, many of <laughs> <laughs> Many of your students and former students are doing our best to advocate for you. You're one of the few teachers that made me really feel like I had a voice and opinion. <laughs> and not only and not only that you made learning fun and encouraging at the end of the day some people wouldn't understand that some adults genuinely have a good heart. <laughs> And it comes, have a good heart when it comes to dealing with children and 
that's probably never going to change. But, you know, we know parents, staff, etc. None that there knows that there has never been anything weird going on and that there was never any insinuation of that. The people that actually matter know where your heart is, and that's all that matters. During COVID, you quite literally helped me through my eighth grade year by just being an adult. I knew I could go to if I was having any problems. It's in you being you, and don't let anyone change that. For the goat, what's up, Mr. White? I know that I know that your situation may not be looking the best. But just know that you'll get through it, and we all know your real intentions. Remember, your <laughs> remember your Bruce Lee quote. Remember your Bruce Lee quote. Can't wait for your return. <sighs> P.S. Your Air Maxes are in the boys' locker room. I seen them today after practice, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I just put them in there. <sighs> My Bruce Lee quote is, if you, if you have an emotional reaction to anything someone says or does to you, means that that person can control you, and you should not be controlled by anyone. <laughs> Dear Mr. White, dear Mr. White, we hope that you're doing doing well during these tough times. We hope that you're doing well during these tough times. We wanted to let you know that we appreciate you as a teacher, as our teacher, and we hope the best for you in your future. We hope you come back, and we want you to keep your head up, like Tupac said. In appreciation of you, we cleaned up your class. Thank you for all that you do for us. Don't listen to those haters. We love you, Mr. White. Lock in before we tweak out. <laughs> and P.S. We also fed fed your kids for you. And my kids are my animals that are at the school. And lock in before I tweak out. It's something that I say to them when they... Get on my nerves, so thank you. Although this may have been something that was innocent to him, a lot of people are just not okay with certain things because we live in a world where everything is just so, you know what? So we have to be so cautious of what we do because then we'll be deemed as something that we're not. And I think that this was, this was very unprofessional. It's crazy how something that we think is so innocent can be something that can ruin our entire life or ruin our entire career. He was fired for this. I'm praying that hopefully this was something that was innocent, something that he did not mean in, in a disgusting way. I would be highly pissed if my daughters came home and told me that they took down their male teacher's hair. Now, yes, I will indeed be like, I would question it because why would you have young girls playing in your hair? If you knew you had an appointment after school, you should have been took your hair down a day before. It's not the place. This is not the place. And yes, it does look a little off. It looks very off. So I get where people are coming from when they said that this looks off. We have to be cautious and we have to protect our young, our youth in general. Not saying that he's a predator. I'm not saying anything that could, because like I said, this could have been so innocent. Something that, that was not meant to be taken in the context that it was taken in. But you're a teacher, you know how this world is and you know how things go. So in, in all honesty, you kind of put this on, you know, you kind of put this upon yourself and now you have to deal with the consequences of your actions just like everybody else when we make small mistakes. But that is it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I want to know your opinions on this situation. How would you feel if your child was in this situation? How would you feel if your child teacher did this? I want to know, you guys. But that is it for this video. Y'all already know. Y'all will see me in another one. Bye.